Texas Supervisor Lawson Reamer for five minutes. Hello there. Hi, thank you so much. Um, Representative Levin, uh, members of the subcommittee, thank you for the opportunity to speak today in support of Congressmember Levin's HR 3053, the American Coast and Oceans Protection Act, as well as the five other coastal bills now under consideration. My name is Tara Lawson Reamer. It's my honor to serve as the supervisor of San Diego County's third district, where I represent many of the same coastal communities as Congress, Congress member Levin. It is clear that we must permanently protect our federal waters from oil exploitation. California is not a state that needs to learn its lesson twice. The blowout of Union Oil's Platform A off the coast of Santa Barbara in 1969 drowned hundreds of dolphins and seagulls in a mile wide oil slip and halted all new oil and leasing in California waters, state waters. The ravages of Exxon Valdez and deep water horizon are more than enough to compel us to do the same in federal waters. To Californians, our coast is not just essential to our economy. Yes, it provides us with valuable jobs and revenue from tourism, recreation, seafood, and commercial and sports fisheries. But it is far more than that. The coast is at the core of our collective identity. We live in intimate relationship with our beaches and coastlines, our surf, our kelp forests and sea life, and we fight ferociously to protect these precious natural resources. Offshore oil drilling threatens our marine protected areas, Morro Bay, the Channel Islands, Point Reyes, Carmel, Big Sur, Dana Point, the protected waters of the communities Congress member Levin and I share. There are many reasons to ban oil extraction in federal waters. The most profound, however, is the existential climate emergency that we all face together. And then arguable necessity, therefore, of rapidly ending the extraction and consumption of fossil fuels. The Biden administration has committed to a 50% reduction in greenhouse gas pollution in the next 10 years. Governor Newsom has committed to banning all new fracking permits by 2024 and ending the sale of gasoline fueled vehicles by 2035. My own county of San Diego has set an ambitious target of zero carbon by 2035. These emission reduction targets are well within our technical capacity. Eliminating our dependence on fossil fuels and transitioning to a green economy is also the only smart investment for the future of America's economic prosperity. The cost of solar has plummeted 89% in the last decade. We have a clear path to 100% renewable. As an economist, it is clear that the supposed profitability of oil and gas is almost exclusively the result of failing to price the externalities of the fossil fuel industry. If we were appropriately internalizing the climate and health consequences of fossil fuel, the oil and gas industry would be trillions of dollars in the hole. Think of the costs imposed by droughts and fire, flooding and heat waves, sea level rise, disease, and the death of our oceans. These are the negative externalities imposed by fossil fuels on all of us, and they are borne disproportionately by those least responsible for creating them and least able to mitigate their impact, impacts. Young people, children not yet born, communities of color, working families, regular middle-class Americans who cannot afford the astronomical costs of floods and wildfires. In San Diego, in California, we are working towards a just transition to renewable energy. We are creating new and better jobs for workers now employed in the oil and gas industry. We are providing technical and financial support to younger workers in incomparable non-fossil fuel work. And we are supporting apprenticeships programs, living wages, and good union jobs for working families. California's economy is highly diversified and dynamic. We will not only achieve the transition to 100% renewable, we will use our early adoption to our advantage to get ahead in the race to a green economy by stopping oil drilling and investing instead in the vibrant and dynamic renewable energy sector we are building new industries to adapt and thrive in the global economy where renewable energy is increasing in increasing demand and oil and gas are facing inevitable obsolescence it is preposterous in this context that anyone would consider expanding offshore oil and gas development we have a moral obligation to stop offshore oil drilling. 
it is also an economic imperative. We can no longer risk everything for the sake of the short-term profits of big oil companies. Californians are trying to do our part. San Diego County is committed to reducing emissions and decarbonizing our economy. But we cannot exceed in this just transition if the federal government is against us. We need Congress to do its part as well. For that reason, we applaud Representative Levin and all of today's bill sponsors for their courage and leadership. It is an honor to share with you the work of Repairing Our World. Thank you again for the opportunity to speak today. Thank you, Supervisor Lawson Reamer. Very much appreciate that. Uh, the chair now recognizes Mr. Kays for five minutes.